Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand. Talk to you today about not being able to sleep in this world. Um, didn't sleep last night much. Got up and prayed this morning a little. Didn't say what the Lord told me. God always sees abortion in America. He told me over a year ago, and I was like, man, God, I just, okay. You really want me to say it like that? So I've been waiting on the delivery of it. Um, but it's just, it's time. So anyhow, um, I'm going to share with you in a second. But I want to share a scripture with you first. So, what about, because what, this is what I got in prayer. About, use what I got. Were his voice. Um, so, anyhow, here's Psalms 29. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in beauty of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory, the thunders. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord speaketh. Okay, so we're his glory and we're his voice. And This is tough, guys, okay, because it's like, man, it hit me pretty hard, too, so, like, what the Lord told me. So, I'm sure I'm going to get tons of hate mail and all kinds of stuff, you know, but I'm going to kind of, I'm going to tell you what the Lord told me, and then I'm going to kind of explain where the church is at in this body of Christ. So, he told me, he said... <clears throat> This is how God, God said, this is how I see abortion in America. America is a bigger mass murderer than Adolf Hitler ever was. Man, God, that hit me too because it's like, man, but I'm not trying to just slap a label on these people because that's not going to cut it, guys. It's time for the church. It's time for the body of Christ to step up. We don't have to do anything illegal to change this. We need to start reaching these people. They're taking lives. It's kind of old, you know, people say it's my right. Well, it's your right to, that you should live and that you should take somebody else's life. Sorry, it's not. You know, I mean, but the church has just kind of sat on their hands about it, tried to be politically correct. Mostly did nothing about it. Just like I said, slap a label on it. This is what the Lord told me that we needed to do. And right now, I'm just his voice, and I'm going to pray about it. I don't have the resources to do this, but a lot of churches do. I'm not picking on any one particular denomination or anything, but there's a denomination that I'm here in Dallas that has 35,000 members. I'm like, man, if everybody gave 10 bucks once a year and use that to help some of these women make the right decision to either adopt or not to waste the resources only on the people that want to make that choice for Jesus. So we can change those lives. You know, educate, help them get educated, help them get a house, a car, walk through because most of it's based upon social 
economic issues, you know, their life's going to be changed. Um, a lot of this stuff <clears throat> was brought on by sin. The pleasures of sex, Se sex out of, out of marriage, most, a lot of it. <laughs> Look at the sexual perversion of this country, you know. I mean, there's just, this is a big issue, guys, but there's a lot of other issues, you know. I mean, we're, I throw this in there, you know, we're the freest nation in the world. But yeah, we have the highest prison population in the world. <clears throat> Sexual immorality is just run rampant. This is a big issue, guys, but it's not the only issue that's facing America. <clears throat> but Jesus, <clears throat> this was the other piece of it. <clears throat> there, you just got to kind of Look at some of my other messages because they'll all kind of fit into the same narrative. But <clears throat> A, who is your source? And where are you getting your information from? God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, or the Word. <clears throat> One time I was in the midst of a pretty fiery trial and I was like, finally threw up my hands, got a breakthrough and got out of the flesh, self-will, because that's what a lot of this is, you know, the, just taking a life, it's, it's selfish, it's, you know, I mean, I'm sure that that judge or judges or whomever made those laws and the lawyers and like, aren't you glad that your parents didn't decide for an abortion? Because you wouldn't be here to make that argument. So, you know, I know this is kind of raw and maybe even a little brutal and, but it's time for the church, you know, some of these mega churches and stuff that have the resources and some of these bigger churches, it's t you know, it's like they're built busy building edifices and egos and bigger bands and greater stages and <clears throat> begging people for $65 million, $55 million jets. And it's like, but what are we doing in the streets? Why is America so drug infested? And abortion is a real issue. Sexual immorality is a real issue and all these other issues. And then all the political swirl and just stuff, you know. <clears throat> it's time for us to turn to Jesus, guys. And that's what I'm saying. We need to interject this into this, this, this issue of, of, the, of the right to choose. You're right, it is a choice, but it's time to choose Jesus. So we need to interject that into as many lives as possible so that they don't choose that path of taking a life and helping these people and get up off of our butts and to get our hands are under our butts and we're doing nothing about it. If I had the resources, I would do something about it. I'm just, I don't right now. Right now I can just use what I got. I can just be that voice. That's the challenge to the church. Do something with this issue, guys and gals. There is some that are people that are doing stuff, you know, so I'm not you know, throwing everybody under the bus, but I am too. I've been around a long time and it's like, man, this went right over my head. It's like, man. So it's like, I was just waiting on the right time because it's like, man, God, what do you want me to do with this? Because this is not really going to be a good news message. But it's like when I was telling you about going through this fiery trial and I was like, threw up my hands and said, finally, I said, Jesus, what would you do? He said, I always go to my word. And he told me, he said, go to James 3.17. The wisdom from above is first peaceable, gentle, meek, without hypocrisy. Read it. But then he's also taken me through a journey of th how 3.16 is important. So read 3.16. It's not such a good, you know, issue. God's not bipolar. He's not misdirected. He's not confused. He just isn't going to tolerate sin. 
And that's what this is. It's sin. It's just one sin covering up another. You know, the sin of immoral, illicit sex and the pleasures of, of, of sex. And so it's convenient to just do away with this life. Sorry, who gave you that right? No one. It's just selfish. Selfish act. But it's time for the church to just quit putting labels on people. You know, my wife and I get an opportunity to minister at the homeless shelter every week, every Sunday. And we have to interject life into those people. They get kicked around pretty bad. A lot of them are there because of their own choice. I get it. I understand that. Self, you know, circumstances. But the, you can't just slap a label on them. They're, they're people. They're souls. They're God's glory, that's that's the other part of the message, is that we're his glory. We have a story, and it's time for the church to shine and rise and shine. Read Isaiah 62, but, you know, that's an awesome scripture, set the captives free, but then, like, verse 9 is, it's for the planting of the Lord, for his glory, because when Jesus lives in you, Jesus was God's glory. And then we become, we're adopted in, grafted in to be sons, to be his glory. It's time for us to shine. Stand up for what's right. Separate yourselves. <clears throat> be accounted worthy. Me too. Guys, I've got to change too. <clears throat> I'm drinking this coffee cup, out of this coffee cup. I got several of them that are favorite. My favorite, but this one picked it today because it's got an American flag on it, but it also it's got the scripture on it that says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. So it's time for America to start praying, guys. It's time for us to start really digging into this. We claim to be a godly nation. Look at my video on the almighty dollar of Jesus, but listen to some of my other messages. Um, I'm just directional, guys. I'm just a vessel. You know, it's time to get out of this ego-driven, egotistical, selfish, ambitious stuff that's going on and realize and read your Bible. Read Matthew 20. Kind of cuts across all we're all equal guys whether you're the doorkeeper at the church or the senior pastor time to get out of this pious egotistical realm and that's kind of where this abortion issue is too it's self-centered egotistical I want what I want when I want it even if it involves sin sin of taking a life sorry guys I'm not trying to just but it's time for the church <laughs> that's the other piece of this <clears throat> it's about the exposure the Lord was dealing with me about exposure and how man exposes things because <clears throat> it's like your dog you know most people that have dogs you know everybody pretty much knows this, this, this that if your dog poops or pees on the floor what do you do you grab them and you rub their nose in it and eventually they stop. So that's kind of like what we're doing. We're like, you dirty dog, you pooped on the floor. And we slap a label on people. <clears throat> but Jesus, the light of the world, has a plan and an exposure, but he has a purpose. What about the woman that was caught in adultery? What did he do? Throw it in the sand. Who has a, you know, no sin amongst you. Throw the first stone. Everybody had to leave. Woman, where are your accusers? I don't accuse you, but go and sin no more. It's time for us as a body of Christ to step up. Quit blaming the government and the laws and all this other stuff and step up. Help these people. 
quit sitting on the resources that God's given us. And like I said, trying to build, you know, these big empty edifices and cathedrals and just stuff and buildings and just all this stuff. What are you doing in the weeds? This battle's going to be won. This outpouring of, of Jesus is going to be won in the streets, guys. We're busy. It's another th thing that the Lord dealt with me about, you know, busy trying to build stuff and fill up coliseums and all this wonderful, great stuff. Kind of for ego. And he told me, he said, the church, the church is building serfs, turfs, and kingdoms that aren't of me. So, you know, I want a class of people that just kind of just do whatever we tell them to do. Follow us. Then it's my church, my little, you know, look what I did for God. And then it's like, look, I'm the king of this whole empire, you know. It's like, man, guys. That's where that scripture comes in. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. You know, it's pretty hard for Americans to humble themselves because we've been raised in a whole different, you know, we think we're better than everybody, honestly. We're Americans. We're a God, God-fearing country. We're, you know, we go to another country, we expect to be treated differently. Or better than. So, I know there's a lot that I'm throwing out here, guys, and uh, I'm just, you know, gonna, you know, I'll take it on the chin, I'll take it on the chin, I'm gonna probably delete a bunch of the hateful emails that I'm sure I'm gonna get from this, because last time I even said the word abortion, I got all kinds of crazy crackpot comments. It's not up for debate. I'm not debating the issue. I'm just getting it out there, the truth. Time for us as a body of Christ to do something about it and quit just sitting around, you know? It's like one of the messages I put out there, which, you know, well, anyhow, there's other things that are going on in the, in the, in the swirl of, of this life in, in, in America in, in general, and it's like, you know, we can't pick and choose what we like in the Bible, you know, because it's like, I want, the Lord told me to plow right down the middle because I have years in the Pentecostal movement, I have years in the holiness movement, I heard a lot of hellfire brimstone messages, you wear earrings, you're going to hell, blah, 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 da, 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 all kinds of stuff, you know, so, and the judgment piece, but the Lord told me to plow right down the middle. Then the other side is, you know, love, 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 everything's love. It's time to make a stand for Jesus. You know, we can't pick and choose. It's like, there's the awesomeness of Jesus. There's the awesomeness of God. And he's calling us people out. Come on, come on, come on. And that was his plan for God so loved the world. But, you know, what are you going to do with Ezekiel 3? A righteous man falls and, per and perishes and, you know, the blood's on your hands if you don't warm him. So, I mean, read that too. We've got to take it all into context, guys. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, do not like sin. Sorry. That's got to be dealt with in our lives and changed. And we have to be his glory and shine as a body of believers and make a difference and make an impact and let the outpouring in these last days. It's time to shine, guys. Shed light on this. But don't just be the finger-pointing guy and the judgmental guy. And 
And that's not me either. I got a prodigal son experience. I've been mad at God for a long time, you know, for over some diseases of life. And it's like, man, things can happen, guys. That just so I get the grace piece because God, God brought me back. I wasn't just mad at God. I was pissed. So, you know, I'm sorry. This is a little wrong. It's not all PG. I'm not. I really get the grace piece. So I can't be the finger pointing guy. That's not what that's not what this message is about. It's about us doing something about these issues of life and things that are going on. We can make an impact and a difference not in all the all the abortion issues and people, but we can in some of those lives. The ones that God highlighted ones that Jesus is trying to reach, the people that want to make a choice to serve him, we can really change people's lives if we get in there and dig in the weeds and get down in where people live and in the dirt and the muck and the mire. Like I said, you know, we're, you know, <clears throat> it's just time to portray Jesus and be about his, our father's business and his plan and his purpose, and his will. So anyhow, I just, you know, kind of a somber mood. I don't know why, you know, well, I do, but I mean, this message is just this message. So I've got others, and I've got other things that are in my heart and my mind. And thank you for tuning in. Please don't just watch this one look at the other ones share them with other people comment like i said i'm sure i'm gonna get a bunch of junk <clears throat> oh well it's just it's just a timing thing so i'm just being obedient to the lord and gonna be his voice and you know um you want to email me directly, you can at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com or you can put comments on the YouTube. Um, like I said, a, the real hateful, vicious, angry ones, I'm going to probably just delete anyhow. So, you know, I've got things to do all day, so there'll probably be a bunch of junk on there before this day's out. So, you know, just bear with me. Um, but it's time that we're his glory and his story. And so are those unborn children. to end with this my son then this was back in the 80s but you know we did a sonogram as i think it was like after 12 weeks on a vcr tape that's how long ago it was or how old the technology was but you could see his head formed his hands you could tell that it was a boy versus a girl and you could see that it was a life so it's like man guys and gals Let's not just slap a label on these people. And, and you know, it is, it is a sin, but let's help them. Get out of this. Make the right choice. Choose God. Choose Jesus. Choose the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost. Lead, guide, and direct you into all truths. Stand in the gap for these people. Pray. If that's all you got, if that's what you can do, and that's awesome and powerful. So anyhow, love you guys. Um, sorry to bring this as an issue up, but it just it's been on my heart. I couldn't, it's, it's been on my heart with this decision from New York. And even, you know, it's kind of just, it's just, just there. It's been there. But I was just waiting on the right time. So anyhow, we love you guys. Um, I just want to be about my father's business. I want to portray Jesus to everybody around me. So bless you. Have a wonderful day. Um, hope to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Bye-bye.